Hey, this is Kia, and I want to welcome to you to the official ninja packing video. Um, a lot of people had questions about my methods, how I really do it, and I'm putting this video together to tell y'all what um, what it takes and the steps and how I actually plan my clothes and you know bring things down to a minimum. Um, I'm packing for a hypothetical business trip, one of my favorite things, a bookended business trip. So that would be three days working and four days kicking it. So that would take into account, you know, three days of business clothes, stuff that can go day to night, things that look professional, um, versatile, easy to wear, and um, four days of, you know, regular casual day clothes, and then party dresses in the evening. And I'm also want to note that I'm packing a fall wardrobe, which is noteworthy because, you know, one where the clothes are smaller and easy to pack. So hope you enjoy. Okay. The, the first rule of ninja packing is to choose your shoes first. As a general rule, I take uh, flats, heels and sneakers, and you want to go with something neutral so that um, you can get the most wear out of it. In this case, my neutral is going to be black. Yours doesn't have to be. It could be a brown, it could be a gray, uh, whatever works best with your wardrobe. And so now from there, we'll go to the clothes. I have four long sleeve tops, three pairs of jeans, two boot cut, one skinny, two shiny shirts because, you know, that's how you can dress up your denim flavor and, you know, give yourself a little, a few more options. I've got my four party dresses and then I've got my three day dresses for work. And the good thing I like about uh, all of these dresses is that they can go from day to night. In particular, this one and uh, that yellow one right there. You know, I can wear that all day to my client meetings. And then if we have um, a client dinner, I can still have that on. And granted, if I'm not sweaty, you know, I, I'll still look nice. And you do want to take a blazer because that gives you some options, you know, if it's cold or if you want to, you know, change up your look a little bit. Also, in addition to all of these clothes, I have six nights of pajamas. So that's three uh, camis with a shelf bra and uh, three pairs of pants. And the reason why I choose camis with shelf bras is that, you know, if you can, you have the option to, you know, wear this to like a little Pilates class or yoga class if you so choose. Um, right here is my travel valet. If you don't have one, get one. This is a Bagalini travel bag. Um, my underwear would go right here, but I'm not going to show you guys that. Um, I also travel with a swimsuit. I never leave home without a swimsuit. I mean, you just never know when you might need it. So, in the valet, I have it sectioned out by needs. This is uh, hygiene. This is makeup. First aid. And yes, get a load of the first aid. Just about anything that could go wrong with you that doesn't require a doctor, I got something in there for you. And uh, this is like my fashion emergency kit. I got, you know, a salon clip, nail file, there's some bobby pins in there, dress tape, lint removal sheets, uh, low beams. You know, the ladies know what those are. And um, I also travel with a flat bag. If you're not really into the, the belt bag thing, look for a flat crossbody. Because, number one, it's packable. Number two, it won't really get in your way as, you know, you're moving about the day and you're, you know, in casual mode. Okay, now's the moment of truth. Actual packing. Now, I'm letting y'all know that I didn't dry run this. So, if I fail, it is going to be a real life, real time fail. So, here we go. Take your valet. Lay it flat. because that's going to be my nighttime bag. All right. 
right, now that is how you pack like a freaking ninja. That is a seven day trip in a carry on bag. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.